Okay, so this is the Pantech Laser, just announced at CTIA a couple weeks ago uh, from AT&T. Pantech says it is the thinnest full sliding keyboard phone ever offered uh, by AT&T. So extremely thin, and we'll get onto that whenever we see the actual device. You'll be able to see how thin it is, and it is pretty crazy thin. So um, let's just open it up and see the device. There it is, texting and driving, it can wait. Thank you for the reminder. Take that off. And so you'll see it's extremely thin. Um, you know, and it's not, you know, it's not like paper thin. It's not as thin as you may think it is, but really when you think about a phone, especially a phone with a keyboard, um, it is pretty crazy thin. You know, we've seen thinner phones, uh, but not phones that have a keyboard, not usually thinner than this. And so uh, you'll see on the back there the camera, the megapixel camera, and then the battery cover. It does have a 1000 milliamp hour battery. Also micro SD card slot you can see right there. It doesn't actually ship with a card. Um, and I'm not sure uh, how much memory it supports. So I'll have to figure that out and then put a little subtitle right here. SIM card slot. And so put that back on there and let me actually power it on. Um, another pretty cool thing about the device is that it has an AMOLED display. And not, al not only is it an AMOLED display, but it has a capacitive touch screen. And so um, this phone is definitely packed with a lot of great features. Uh, you know, just considering that it's a messaging phone, um, Pantech definitely did an awesome job with um, putting some nice features and just really great specs into the phone. And so. While that's powering on, let's see what else is in the box just really quick. Uh, you have your charger modular, USB based charger, uh, which is nice because that means you can use this uh, for transferring data. You don't have to use, um, you know, whether it would be like the SD card with an SD card adapter or some other means of transferring data, you can just use a cable. Um, so it's micro USB <clears throat> and then the charger there. And then you have a bag for stuff and I'm assuming just getting started guides, um, user manual, you have a tutorial CD in there and that's pretty much it. So let's get back to the device itself. Hopefully it's on by now. Okay it is. So it looks pretty nice. Let's see touch and hold to unlock. Alright there it is. And so it's a pretty standard uh, user interface and you can see there's a large clock there. I wonder if I can change that. I don't know, maybe in the settings. Um, but then on the bottom you have dial, contacts, messages, menu. Looks like you have three different home screens. Oh, and there's a pretty cool animation there too. So it's almost like it's the inside of a box that transitions. And here you can add your favorite contacts. Here you have the clock. Here you have, uh, looks like widgets that you can set up. Add here favorite contents. Okay, so you can add different widgets. Messages, music, my stuff, tools. No message, okay. Um, yeah, kind of an interesting user interface, but it looks nice. Uh, like I said, it's an AMOLED display, 3.1 inch. Capacitive touchscreen, it has a resolution of 400 by 800, um, and it looks pretty nice. Um, you know, not as nice as other capacitive touchscreens that I've, or other AMOLED displays that I've seen, but um, it may just be the dark colors, maybe it doesn't show it off very well, uh, but it is AMOLED. And then we'll go into the menu. Let's head over to messaging. And we'll take a look at the keyboard conversations. It looks like you will have uh, threaded text messaging. I'll have to check on that though. Uh, tap to enter text. So T9 if you would like it, but obviously you're probably gonna use the, the physical keyboard. And um, it looks pretty nice, very similar to what we saw in the Pantech uh, Pursuit, the Pantech E's, which were you know lower end messaging phones but obviously still made by Pantech. And so kind of same style, just you know a little bit wider. The keys are pretty flat. You can see that, um, but they are rubbery. They're more of the soft rubber than um, the grippy rubber um, that are on other messaging phones, but definitely not that, that 
slippery plastic kind. Um, so that's nice. Let me go to the screen. We'll type out a message. The Crick, Crick. Wow, nice. The Quick Brown Fox. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad to type on. This divider here in the middle causes this gap, um, which means that the keys are a little farther away than I'm used to, and so um, I don't really know what that's for, but it did sort of make it a little bit, you know, kind of just something to get used to. You do have shift function, looks like a vibrate shortcut button, dot com, period, key, comma, key. That's nice to have dedicated period key and a dedicated comma key. Um, very nice to have that because those are the two that you use most often. And then you can use function to get to these alternate keys. So the keyboard looks nice, uh, nice and spacious, you know, very thin. Uh, the AMOLED display is what, you know, helps the phone to stay extremely thin. But then just, you know, whenever you're holding it, it does feel very thin. But one thing to note is that um, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel plasticky and hollow. Um, it has, you know, enough heft to it to where it feels like a very solid device. It does have a camera like you saw in the back, a 3 megapixel camera. Also captures video. Uh, you can also do video sharing. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's no flash and also no autofocus. Another thing to note is that because the phone is so thin, there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you can see on the top here is the micro USB port, uh, which you use for charging. Uh, but other than that, there's no ports. You know, the micro SD card slot was underneath the battery cover, uh, but there's no 3.5, uh, not even a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack. So a little disappointing. You know, one of the sacrifices that you have to make because the phone is so thin. But anyway, Pantech Laser. Uh, from AT&T, much, much more on PhoneDog.com. Check out more news, videos, reviews of smartphones, messaging phones, um, all the latest covers that you guys need. Also, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. If you have any questions, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's my job to know is my Twitter screen name. Sorry for my reflection being all over in this video. I know you guys didn't want to see the camera. You wanted to see the phone. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and I will see you guys later.